All right, everybody. You think of Cold Steel, you think Four Max and American Lawman and Spartan and Triad Locks. Most of the time, you don't think liner lock flippers. But today, we are going to think about it like that. So let's get into this. All right, today we're going to look at the Crawford one from Cold Steel. It is from the 2019 offerings. Check out the specs on that. Can you see that weird camera thing here? All right. So now if you've seen this, you don't need to get into the rest of the video, but watch it anyways. There might be surprise endings. I don't know. Maybe I'll do fireworks or something. All right, so this is actually the first one that I got sent out. I have a couple more that are in order, but this is the first one that's being offered through retailers right now that, that I could find the 8015 and the 8010 or not. So here we go. Let's open this up. Check that out. We've got our cover shot right there. Cover shot. All right, perfect. Look at that. Have a look see over here. And let's get into this. So we got is one, two, three, about three and a half inches. That's what they're calling it, three and a half inches of 4340 stainless steel. Now, I looked it up, and the nearest, I asked somebody, and then I looked it up, and the best I could find out, it's kind of close to 420, 428C steel. So it's not like a really hard use steel, but it sharpens up easily, and if you're not gonna be chopping trees with it and hard using it, it should hold up pretty fine, and it takes an edge pretty quickly from what I hear. So you go check that out. It's got a cool little thumb jobber here you can get up here on the blade it, if you pull back here and you're not good I don't know it's kind of dangerous but from right here that's not too bad that didn't feel too bad I don't know how it's gonna hold up in hard use it, it probably dulls up fairly quickly it's not a super high-end steel but for this knife you might not be using it as a super high-end steel check that out it's got the Crawford one on this side cold steel in Taiwan on that side. Now, if you if you took all the markings off this, now let's check out the Spartan. If you took off the Spartan, put this in your hand, said, who makes this? You'd say, well, shoot, it's a beast. It's got the triad lock. It's locked up solid. It's a beastly Lynn Thompson type knife. It's gotta be like a Demco something. Probably cold steel. But if you took this one out, took all the markings off and I handed this to you, you'd think, well, Maybe that's a Kershaw, or maybe that's a CRKT. Well, not with that clip tip up. So maybe it's a Tangram or something like that. You're not gonna think cold steel initially when you see this knife. All right, so let's get into the handle here and check that part of it out. What you have, let me make sure I do this the right way, is Whoa, 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 one, two, three, four, about almost five inches, about four and seven eighths inches. Let's see if I got that right. They don't say there. Okay, four and seven eighths inches of what they're calling Zyx, like a Zyx, or like some kind of glass filled nylon, I'm guessing. They're special proprietary glass filled nylon. Now you got this cool grip here, this little rubberized grip in here, so that helps a lot with traction. Same thing on this side. Now let's try the clip out. You know, I've been really lax on testing clips out for people that use them a lot. So I'm gonna try this clip out here and see how that works. Dang, that clip is tight. All right, so this is a tight clip. Keeping with cold steel's tradition of tearing up, gosh darn slacks. All right, so that, that's gonna hold you. Let me try that again. All right. Well, that's not too bad, I guess. I just had to get it on there first time. All right, let me try it one more time. This will be the one that I'll decide whether or not this clip is too tight. Let's try that. All right, it's not too not too horrible, actually. All right, let's... Nope, I was wrong. This is a good little clip. That rubberized stuff may or may not tear up some jeans, but I don't think so. The, the clip comes out pretty easily, see? it's It's got a little tension there, but it's not too horrible. So it's not too bad. I thought it was bad. I just had to get used to it. All right, now one thing you're gonna notice on this is it is a liner lock, of course, but it has this extra lock over here that gives you a little more security 
for hard use and you don't have to worry about that as much on that liner lock failing. However, the question I would ask is what are you doing with that type of steel 4034 that you're going to need that kind of lock? I'm not sure your edge is going to hold up to the point where you need that kind of lock, but I'm not sure. So I'm not going to beat this knife up or anything like that. Just to test the steel, we kind of know what we're looking at as far as steel goes. The handle itself, holding onto this thing, is really comfortable. Especially if you're really digging into this grip here, it's not going to slip out. You got this, the flipper as a nice finger guard here. You got an extra like kind of hilt thing working up here. So you're not going to come up on this at all to cut your fingers or anything like that. Got a lot of good support here. Even coming up over this little thumb ramp here like this feels, feels decent. So that is not too bad. You got a semi-open construction, little plasticky backspacer here, and substantial lanyard hole for you lanyard fans back there. It is right hand tip up only, so lefties are out, especially the whiny lefties that can't do anything with their right handed knives. Okay, I'll probably cut that out. All right, let's see what else we got here. <laughs> Let's see, if lefties make up 10% of the viewing audience, I'm going to lose about 300 subs. Ooh. Hey, I'm a lefty. I'm just letting you know. I do most of my work left-handed, so don't quit. All right, let's see. Let's see how much this thing weighs. We already know from this. I'm not going to show you that anymore, though, so I can have extra time on my video. And they don't show the Europeans how much it weighs. The Europeans over there trying to do math in their heads figure out how much this weighs. So I'm gonna show them and we'll go from here. All right, you look at 4.23 ounces and 120 grams. So it's not too bad for a blade that size, for a substantial knife like that, you're looking at just over four ounces, four and a quarter ounces. Now, for what you're paying for this thing, which if you go to like one of the retailers, like Knife Center or something like that, they're about 39 bucks. It's not a horrible deal. It's not a bad deal. It's not a super deal for that steel. But if you're looking to get into a cold steel, that's not got a triad lock on it, I guess. It's not a, a horrible, horrible thing. I'm not sad that I bought this knife. I'm not looking at my checkbook going, why, why did I buy the Crawford one? So I like having it. Like I said, I flipped it all night the other night watching a TV show. It's, it's a good little fidgeter, especially if you don't, if you're not thinking about the extra features like this lock and the liner lock. This is not the typical cold steel triad lock, but they did give you a little extra protection here on this side. I don't know if I said this is a, what's the guy's name? Is it Wes? Wes Crawford design. I need to learn all the custom knife makers, so I'm not floating out here in space trying to figure out who these guys are. All right, let's see, give some comparisons. Here's an American Lawman. See how that compares in size to that. You can tell the handle is a little bit longer on the Lawman, but the blade is a little bit longer on the Crawford. So you got quite a bit more blade. But this is XHP and then the new Lawman's S35VN triad lock. Oh my gosh, you guys. I should do another Lawman review. Oh my goodness, this knife. But this is not a llama knife review. We'll put the llama, llama up there. Llama, llama. All right, let me check what else I got in here. Here is a Spyderco Manix 2. All right, see that comparison there? Still getting a little bit more blade on the Crawford. About the same size. Once again, you're not getting the ex excellent steels, but you're only paying $39 for this. Now, there are other things for $39 bucks that I would rather have. However, the further you get down the list, you're like 10, 15 knives down the list. This is not a bad little option here. And if you like cold steel and if you like this knife, it's not a bad option either. If you say, well, I like the shape of that. I'm not gonna be, you know, chopping cardboard or cutting vines all day. I just need something to maybe cut my sandwich with or show off to my buddies who know nothing about knives. And this is a cool knife. So you can get that for 39 bucks over, I think at Knife Center. I think if you go through cold steel, it's 50. So, there you go, the Crawford One. What do you think about this? Are you into this? You know, if they made this with the triad lock, which I couldn't, best they couldn't because of the flipper. Huh, the flipper. 
They call it Flipper, Flipper, messed up the triad. Now it's a liner. All right, so it's a liner lock. Can't do with Flipper. I think if there was no Flipper on there, yeah? Maybe they should do that. Maybe do a little modification, take off that Flipper, throw this bad boy into a triad position. I wouldn't mind that, would you? Check that out. If you brought out the Wes Crawford triad lock, hunting whatever that would be a cool knife right there you watching mr thompson uh you can have that one for free not a problem all right let me know what you think are you into this knife i'm kind of into it but i'm not super into it I'm, of course i'm way more excited about the ad 15s and the ad 10s coming out i don't know this this is like this is less exciting than the Luzon was when I first got it before I started stabbing people randomly. So, but it's kind of just a good meh kind of knife, but it's not a bad knife. It's just not something that's, you're going to pick up and just go, oh, I got to have it. Like the first time you picked up a Lawman, you just realized there was something special about it, the way you could hold it and the way it locked up and the steel on this thing. It's not like that. Of course, the Lawman's, you know, twice as much money but still all right so there you go i don't want to go on too much let me see what am i missing i compared it to stuff looked at it got the 4034 stainless steel the zyx glass field nylon handles some kind of rubberized stuff i don't this is not the same stuff as this is so like a rubberized grip grip material in the middle there the clip is not too horrible it's probably better it's a little bit better than the Lawman clip as far as coming out a little bit and being a little bit more springier, I think. Maybe the same exact clip and just a just a different situation. I don't know. But after I got used to it, it, it went into the pocket fairly easily. You catch it right there on the tip or on the edge. The lock, really sturdy. Keeps that liner lock from closing in on your fingers should you happen to hard use this thing. All right, let me know what you think. Let's see here. Let me make sure. Ooh, Spartan. All right. Do me a favor. Subscribe there. Watch that series of videos there. Smash on the like button as much as you can. And I will talk to you later.